Hello everybody, this is Lock in Minecraft, and today I'm going to show you how to edit the permissions.yml file and use it to create custom permission nodes and permission node groups. So, if you know nothing about the permissions.yml file, basically what it does is allow you to group certain permissions nodes under other nodes. So, let's get right into that. Alright, so in your server folder there is this permissions.yml file. You can open it with whatever editor you want, Notepad++, I'm going to be using Sublime, and it's basically just empty. So you can type in whatever permission node you want to have, and then you can create other permission nodes that if you have the first node, then you have the others. So I'm going to create one called Locke Minecraft, and then I'm going to add a colon. So if you have the Locke, we'll make it Locke.Minecraft. So if you have the Locke.Minecraft permission node, you can do certain things, or you have other nodes. So go two spaces in, type description, add a colon, and then describe your node. The best permission node ever. All right, next we're gonna type default, colon, and then false or true. You can do true if you want everyone to have this, or false if you want to have to give it to people specifically. So I'm gonna do false. Next, children, add a colon. Basically, these are all the nodes that this node encompasses. So I'm going to add disguisecraft.star here, so all the disguisecraft permissions, then a colon, and then true. And then I'm going to add a bucket command. bucket.command.op.give, colon, true, and bucket.command.op.take, oh, true. And what this means is anyone who has the lockade.minecraft permission can use disguisecraft.star, bucket.command.op.give, and bucket.command.op.take. If you make this false, they couldn't take op status. So that's how that works. So I'm going to save this and restart my server. So now I am in game, and if I try slash op qe 1024 I have no perms. If I try slash disguise cow, I have no perms. So if I go into the console and type for instance, man, th you, this works with any permissions plugin. You just need to add the node to the player or put them in a group that has the node. Man, you add p, qe1124, and then node I created, lockade.minecraft. So now my user, okay, put it on the default world, you can ignore that, has the lockade.minecraft permission node. So now if I type slash d cow, I'm a cow. Okay, and if I type slash op, qe1124, D -Q I have the permissions. But if I want to take away this, I can do menu del p q e 1024 lock a dot minecraft. And now when I try and opt myself or disguise as a cow or any other permission, it does not let me. So what I recommend using this for is donations on your server. This is something I should have done, but I didn't because I didn't know about it. Basically, what I think you should do is, if you're going to create a donation package for your server, you should just assign it a donor dot and then the name of the package. That way, if you need to edit the donation packages later, you can simply go into the permissions.yml file and change the nodes that that um, custom node has access to. So one thing this might be useful for is if you have like a ultra donor group that has everything, and you add a new type of thing like disguises, and you want your ultra group to have it, but you've already added all your permission nodes to that group, like directly to players, as opposed to having them in their own group, which is something you have to do on prison servers. Um, all you would have to do is go into your permissions.yml file, add the node, and reload, and you'd be all set. All right, thank you for watching. Um, in the, soon, I'm going to create a tutorial on how to use Engine to automate your server store. And if you have any other requests for plugin tutorials, um, drop me a comment. Bye.